Now this is a diagram of a kite. Uh, this <coughs> E to F is given to be 80 centimeters and the length from H to F is 60. So let's read the question. To fly the kite, this kite, Bobby ties the ends of a string to points E to I. So there is a string from this point E, this is point E, to I there is a string, okay? Attaching a string from E to I. There is a knot in the string at point K. Now K, you should understand it's, it's not in this figure. The string can be pulled tight so that K is, so that point K is 10 centimeters directly above point J. So this is point J and you have got a string you're tying from I to E to I and that point K at which you have a knot is directly above J. So let me draw a diagram here. So you have to see, look at this in a three-dimensional uh, so this is a, first let me draw the diagram. So this is, this is point say E, this is point I. Okay, this is point I, this is point I, and you've got somewhere E, this is J, okay, and this is from J to K. So K is here, yeah, K is sitting on top. So you have it a uh, string from E to I and K is sitting above I, okay, sorry, above J. K is sitting above J, which is 10 centimeters above J. Okay, so we want to find X. The question is, uh, if the total length of the string is 90 centimeters, that means from E to I, okay, of course you have to see a 3D, it's very difficult to draw here. Uh, this is how the string is. A string, you can see the string, the total length of the string, so let me write that. So the string is, string is E, it's going from E to K and K to I. So you can say it is E K plus K I is given to be 90. The total of E K to K I is 90. <clears throat> okay, so now we want to find the distance from J to I. So that this is your X. So now this is a right angle triangle. This is also a right angle triangle. So if this is 80, so this is given to be 80. The distance from year to year is 80. And you know the distance. <clears throat> the distance from H to F is 120. So I is, J is exactly between uh, H to F. So this would be 60. So this is 60 centimeters and this is also 60 centimeters. So this is 120 centimeters. So can we find the distance from, we can find the distance from uh, F2, uh, you, well, you can find the distance from, uh, you can find this distance if you're using Pythagoras theorem. If you know this two sides, you can find EG. So I want to do the whole thing here. So can I do EJ, EJ, would be 80 squared minus 60 squared. Using Pythagoras, EJ is the shorter side. So we're finding this, we're looking at this side. Okay, we can find this by using Pythagoras, which is 6,400. You can use a calculator minus 3,600, which is, so you can EJ squared, sorry, EJ squared so EJ squared is 2,800. So let me use a calculator and show you. So menu run. So you can go 80 squared minus 360 squared. Sorry. Let me do it again. 80 squared 
minus 60 squared, just like that, which is 2800. Okay, so this implies EJ, EJ is square root of 2800. I'm not rounding this. I'll leave the answer as uh, square root. Okay, so this is, you can say this distance or this length, let me write it here. This is square root of 2800. So this would also be, so I can say this is square root of 2800. Okay, now what can we do now? Now if you know this, again this is again a right angle triangle, I want you to look at this right angle triangle, this blue right angle triangle. So again we can use Pythagoras to find, you know this side, you know this side, you can find EK, again using Pythagoras. So you can say ek squared is square root of 2800 squared plus 10 squared. And square root of 2800 squared is 2800 plus 100, which is 2900. So you can say ek is square root of 2900. So you can say this is square root of 2900. Okay, now what can we say? We know this, we know EK is 2900. So can I find KI? So I can say, well, using this, I'll, uh, I'll do it here. So you can say use this formula. So can we say square root of 2900? plus ki plus ki is equal to 90. So now taking away 2000 square root of 2900 from both sides, ki would be 90 minus square root of 2900. Okay, so now I should, I should let's write ki here. So ki would be, so I'm going to use the calculator now, which is 90 minus shift square root of 2900, which is 36.15. So I'm going to say this is 36 point, this is 36.15 centimeters. Okay, now I'll do the final step here. Again, you have to use Pythagoras. So you've got this side, this is 10, this is 36.5. So, so you can say <coughs> x squared would be 36.15 squared minus 10 squared. Okay, so this would be, uh, so let us use a calculator. So 36.15 squared minus 10 squared which is 1206.8225, 1206. So it is one x squared is 1206. I keep forgetting the number, 8225.8225. Okay, so you can say now, therefore, x is equal to square root of this number. So it's, one thousand eight, one thousand two hundred and six point eight two two five equal. So you can go shift square root shift answer. Okay, don't need to type in the whole number. If you press answer shift answer, this is thirty four point thirty four point seven three or seven four. So you can say in two dp. Therefore, you can say x is equal to thirty four. Point seven four, rounding it to two dp, thirty four point seven four centimeters in two dp. I rounded this to two dp. So this is your final answer. So let me go over this again. So first, what I did was I considered this a right angle triangle. Okay, so <coughs> we 
found EJ first using this triangle. So you've got 80 and 60, so find EJ. So once you have EJ and you have got this, okay, again using Pythagoras, you can find this side, okay? And now you know the length of the string is EK plus KI. So if you know this, the length of KI would be 90 minus square root of 2900. And finally, if you know this too, you can find this. So basically, we have used Pythagoras th uh, theorem in three different triangles. First in this triangle, then in this triangle, and then in this triangle. So this is a very good question of Pythagoras theorem. theorem.